and welcome back to Basics with Beth. The other day I showed you how to make your own face masks using lots of different materials that you would find at home. Today I want to show you how you can sanitise those homemade cloth face masks. Basically to sanitise any of the homemade cloth face masks you simply need soap and water. So you can either put it in the washing machine on a hot wash or if you don't have access to a washing machine you can simply boil it in a pan of hot water with soap. Remember, you must add soap or some other household detergent to the hot water to make this process effective. Now let's move on to the more professional type of masks. This kind of thing. These are made of more of a paper-like structure, so you obviously can't wash them. So if you want to reuse this kind of mask, I must stress that this is not advice for health professionals. This is just advice for people like you and me using them at home. You can't wash them. They have to be sterilised in a different way. So I'll give you a few ways of which you can do this, which again you need to do after each use. So one way is to simply put the mask in the oven, warm your oven up to 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit and leave it in the oven for 30 minutes. Or if you're lucky enough to live in the heat like me, it's at least 70 degrees here today so I can simply pop it on my washing line and leave it out there for a few hours. Another way is to um, put it over steam and let the vapours from the steam disinfect the mask. Obviously, don't let the mask touch the water. Or another way is to use alcohol. And I don't mean the brandy that you have in your cupboards or the vodka, that's best left to be drunk. What I mean is um, the alcohol that you can buy in the supermarket or in the pharmacy. You'll find it on the personal hygiene shelves normally and you want the strongest alcohol percentage that you can find. So let me show you how to do that. So you're going to need a plastic container with a lid or you can use a pan with a lid. Obviously you have your mask and the alcohol. So again it's very important that this paper structure of the mask doesn't ever touch any liquid as it will destroy the fibres. So you put a very small amount of alcohol in the bottom, just like that, because you don't want it to touch the mask. And then you want to hang your mask over it. So put the mask onto the lid, the other way around. Put the mask onto the lid. Secure it with a peg then there's no way it can fall in, like that, put the lid back on and leave it like that for three or four hours. Don't leave it any longer than four hours because the vapours will then start to destroy the fibres of the mask. So there you have several ways of doing it. Obviously none of this is going to be effective if you then just throw your mask back in your sock drawer or leave it out on the side of the units. What you then need to do is to take the mask, ideally without touching it if you can, let's try this, or you can use a glove to do it, and then put it in a sealed bag. until you use it next time. That keeps it sanitised for future use. So remember to do this with your mask, whether they're paper or fabric, every time you use them. And that's all for today from Basics with Beth. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.